Today on Addicted to Gear, I'm going to show you how to get a beautiful oil and wax finish for your guitar necks. Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you an easy way to treat your unfinished guitar necks to get a really silky smooth oil and wax finish on them. Now many of you out there might not really like the feel of poly on the back of your necks because it tends to be sticky especially in hotter and humid environments. Nitro can take a long time to dry when you apply it to your necks. So today I'm going to show you an alternative to those two, which is oil and wax. It's a very easy method of applying to unfinished guitar necks. As a matter of fact, uh, Music Man uses the very same technique on their guitar necks and their necks are probably some of the most comfortable and silky smooth necks that I've had the pleasure to play. So today I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step method I use to turn a regular wooden unfinished untreated neck into a silky smooth oil and wax neck that I think you're going to enjoy for a long long time. Welcome back to my messy workbench. Today we're going to be continuing our project on the Telecaster build. If you've been following my videos, you know that we previously did a fret level on this neck and I showed you step by step how I got around to doing that. So if you want to watch that, it's in my library of videos. Today um, we're going to continue working on this neck. It started off as a paddle headstock and we shaped it into this Telecaster style uh, shape here which I like a lot. Very nice quality neck from uh, a company called uh, Guitar Anatomy. And uh, we're going to continue the process today and what we're going to be doing is we're going to treat the neck with some true oil to be able to seal the wood. And this is a technique that many people have used before. As a matter of fact, Music Man uses this treatment on their necks and I think their necks are amongst the most really comfortable necks that I've, I've had the pleasure to play. Very satiny smooth and I don't want to give it a glossy finish but I do want to protect this wood. Now the wood on this neck is beautiful. It's Canadian hard rock maple that has been baked and uh, right now it's pretty much raw. I did treat it with a bit of uh, wax but that's about it and today we're going to be doing a true oil finish to seal the wood. Now in order to do this you will need some true oil that you can buy pretty much anywhere. You can get this from hardware stores, gun shops, you can even buy this on Amazon. You don't need a huge bottle. It's quite expensive so go with a small bottle. A small bottle like this will go a long way. You want to make sure that if it's been sitting around for a while you shake it up. Just give it the opportunity to uh, mix all of the elements within this um, this oil. You can apply a single layer or multi layers depending on what kind of a finish you want. If you want a glossy finish what you would do is you would apply more than one coat of this. But I'm going for a satin finish because I really don't want a thick finish on my neck at all. Uh, so what we're going to be doing with this is just applying a very thin coat and we're going to be wiping it on waiting a couple of seconds and wiping it off you will need a cloth or a rag. Actually, let's start off from the heel here. Um, I like to use a cloth. You can use paper, but I, what I don't like about the paper is that sometimes it actually leaves some little debris behind. So I'm just going to use a white cloth. A little of this stuff goes a long way, guys. So you don't need a whole bunch. You just want to pour it out on your cloth there, like that. Apply. A little goes a long way. The trick here, less is more. Because if you go too thick, it takes a long time to dry.
and it's basically wipe on wipe off and that's about it so in all to treat this entire neck I'm just using a couple of drops really that's all you need A little bit more for the front and here now I'm just ensuring that I did get all the little areas around the perimeter of the, the headstock you don't um, you don't have to overdo it and that is it that's it that's all I'm gonna apply and what I'm gonna do now which may seem counterintuitive so I'm going to wipe it off. So I'm just going to take another clean area of my rag, go back and just wipe it off. Just remove any excess and we're done. And as you can see, not much comes off. It's already it's already absorbed in the in the guitar neck. And that's it that's done now I'll let it dry you know just give it a chance to dry up it won't take all that long and then we're gonna apply some wax when we apply the wax on the neck it's basically going to allow us to buff it up a little bit but I like it exactly like this just barely barely touched with a uh, true oil and keep it natural I think it's gonna make a really nice feeling neck they say it takes a couple hours to dry but honestly when you go in this thin and you basically um, just wipe it on and wipe it off you don't really have to give it that much time so once the true oil has time to dry uh, I'll continue the process with the wax and you can put whatever wax you prefer I usually use the feed and wax which is uh, an orange uh, scented wax which tends to do a really good job in my opinion again we want, we want to apply this to a clean dry cloth if you can use um, a cloth that's made of cotton even better you can also use paper towels whatever you wish but I find this works best so we want to apply a liberal amount of the wax and uh, we're gonna wipe it on leave it for a couple of minutes and wipe it off you'll immediately see more of a shine and then we're gonna buff it out with some paper towels and I'll explain why in a second so this whole process goes very quickly and as you can see easy on easy off and there we go we're gonna give it time to dry then we're gonna buff it with some paper towels and it's gonna be as smooth as silk at this point the wax is still wet so we're just gonna give it a couple of minutes to absorb and then we're gonna buff it all out with some paper towels and we're gonna be in business you can already see how nice it's looking and the idea of using paper towels to buff is basically paper towels are not completely soft it's like a very very high grit sandpaper so if you use paper towels to buff you're actually going to be sanding the finish a little bit but not very much and it's going to turn out super smooth silky soft so you'll know when it's time to go to the next buffing stage when the wax is basically not that shiny anymore give it about 20 minutes at least or a little more depending on how heavy you applied the wax 
So now the next step is to take some good old fashioned paper towels. These paper towels do have a grit to them and we're going to use it basically to sand smooth the finish. So I like to start with the butt end here and work my way up to the headstock. You're not going to expect it to become super glossy but you will definitely see a little bit more shine and smoothness once you're done. You requ it requires a little bit of elbow grease. You want to you know give it a good shot and you will definitely feel the difference when you're done. Now you shouldn't really see a lot of the any of the uh, wax coming off on the paper but you might get a little bit. Just keep going. And we're gonna turn it over and do the, the back of the headstock same way. And you can basically keep on going Till you have the feel that you want. I don't really worry too much about the back of the headstock because I don't usually you know rub the back of the headstock that much and it feels buttery smooth already. It really does. And then of course we don't want to forget the front of the headstock. And basically you keep going till you either run out of energy or achieve the feel that you're looking for on the neck. But already this neck is super, super smooth and uh, it's going to be a pleasure to play. And as a final step, I like to apply some of the feed and wax to the front of the fretboard to hydrate it and polish it and of course once it has time to absorb then I just run the uh, paper towel over the frets one more time just to clean the wax off of the frets and that's how you achieve a really nice simple satiny finish to a guitar neck like this one that's gonna be a pleasure to play pretty simple I'm sure you can do it too and that's basically it guys So I hope you guys got something of value out of this video if you've been considering an alternative to poly or nitro. Uh, the oil and wax is easy to apply, pretty inexpensive, doesn't take any special tools. So I hope you will take the opportunity to try this finish on your next build. I think you're going to really, really enjoy it. This neck is getting ready to go into my Telecaster. Uh, I hope you guys have been following my videos because I'm taking you step by step through that Telecaster build. And at the end, I'm hoping to have a really nice guitar uh, that I can add to my collection. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you for tuning into this how-to video. I hope you enjoyed it please consider subscribing to the channel because there'll be more great tips gear reviews and other great stuff coming up for you guys see you soon